So one of the most important things when you're, you know, you've um, kind of been educated about the inside or outside dynamics and, and the legacies of colonialism and um, the kind of colonial uh, production of, of what counts as knowledge and what is valued as knowledge. And you're going in to work with a community and you have all these ideas in your mind, but really probably the most important thing is just to, uh, to be yourself and to be honest and to work with integrity. Um, you know, uh, be careful to listen first uh, and not to prescribe. Um, you know, be very humble about what you know and what you have to offer and try not to, um, you know, to, to commit to anything uh, or have too high of expectations for what you might be able to accomplish. Uh, but just to be very, very honest and to be yourself and that's probably <laughs> one of the number one lessons I've learned. More often than not, people will, will um, um, cherish that honesty and they will see your integrity and then they will value you as a partner and then together you can work towards uh, you know, a mutual solution. Wherever there's influence, there's power relations and it can get messy and one uh, lesson I've learned that's important to remember is that I'm not above anyone or below anyone and respect is of the utmost importance and listening uh, when there's conflict, uh, a process uh, for resolving conflict is of um, vital importance. And uh, there's always tensions on a community-based research project. And again, uh, working within a team, so there's always a team dynamic, and uh, getting support and coaching from faculty uh, listening to community partner, getting support from the community partner uh, helps the project come up with a process for resolving conflict, easing tensions, and getting back on track.